project for today, <laughs> replacing our AC, that cute little box we've been carrying around on the trailer for a stretch. And we have to come inside and dismantle all this stuff first. Just take it apart and putting it down. We'll go outside and address the outside part. So far, super simple, eh? Yeah. Super simple? So far. Ooh, look how dirty it is underneath that shroud. I gotta clean it. Super easy, super easy. Ooh, that's a long one. Okay, now the challenging part. This is how you get on the roof. Do it yourself, owner operator, little lab. Trying to beat that sun coming over the roof before we get baked. Nice up top. See up top. So up top here we have our unit. He's taking the bands off. We'll pull off the white cover. We will reuse that because they only had it in black. So it's those four bolts up top and that's holding it on. Crazy, crazy, eh? Beautiful sunny day though. And you've got little tabs to separate the two pieces. Stubborn little suckers. Of course, you know, makeshift tool. But you get it. There it is. It's all naked. Naked AC unit. You get it? What? Side down. Love power tools. Wow. Even if it is just little battery powered ones. Okay, here it is. That's the new one. Nice new. A black one. Hey, that's your call. I don't care either way, to be honest with you. I don't think it's that visible. Separate those, pull the cover off. So, here you go. What's the insides there? Oh, capacitor. This one's a little different. The other one's a two pole. Is that going to make a difference when this we go to install the fan, it? Which drives the blower fan inside of there. Condenser, the evaporators in here. So, put this one up, pull the other one down, and then investigate, right? Yep. Alrighty. So, once you got your holes drilled for your new straps, then it's just basically reassembling. It's dandy as can be. straps back in and then we'll put the cover back on. We're going to use the old cover just because it's white and it matches and yeah it's a little dirty and a little old looking but it'll blend in instead of this blazing hot black new one. Look at that we don't have a black truck. No no black truck. No dark colored needed. Got a white truck. Okay, so the cover's on. One thing I wanted to show you that I didn't get quite, you see this foam? This foam right here is what kind of seals it down. That's how the other one was, was made and this is how it's designed. So we're putting the cover on, we'll put the straps on. When we get down inside and put those bolts back in is when we'll center it to where it needs to be. Pretty easily to be moved from underneath. Just for your catching. Very simple job. Save a lot of labor, eh? Yeah, really not a very hard job. I wonder why they charged us so much last time. Yeah, I don't know. Because they knew they could. We were down in Phoenix. Our AC unit had broke in the height of the hot season. And uh, they were busy. And so it was like one of those little rush job things. Oh, it was that RV place. So it's not like they weren't accustomed to it. But it did take them a couple days though, didn't it? Mm -hmm. 
here, lickety split. Arctic temps again. What the rooftop portion of this deal is done. Whoop, whoop. Took what, 25 minutes? Yeah. Maybe. Not so bad. A couple hundred dollars saved. Woohoo! Down to the inside. Going down is a little bit scarier than going up. All in. <laughs> okay, almost. Now we got pieces, parts just to put back in. Yep. But it just reverse of what we did. Just screw in the screws, get it centered, and then start putting your your components back in. It's so handy. This one even more so, because it's the little impact driver. You set the clutch on it. Too much fun. What you looking for? Daylight. Because what you did is you brought the unit and squished it all down onto that foam. To I help see seal. Here? He's seeing daylight, so he's investigating. Do you see it? Yeah. You see why? Oh. I noticed there was some daylight shining in. And it's coming from the bottom of the of the evaporator or the yeah, the evaporator area. And it might be a water drain. We'll see here in a few minutes. <laughs> If we get a shower yeah. on the inside without being in the shower? Yeah, if it starts, you know, leaking, if it starts building up water in this channel up in here, then you'll know that that was supposed to be where it drained out on the ground. Where it was supposed to have daylight. But I'm also concerned that when it rains out... It'll come in. It could come in. I don't... It shouldn't be able to because that should be three quarters of an inch above the, above the roof line. And it should be sealed by tape. What are you putting but in now? I'm putting the control unit back in. The main circuit board assembly. So just reverse. But if that tape was sealing it so good, why is there so much light? Right. We'll find out. And if that tape is, if there's light, that means that whatever water was going to drain out there wasn't going to drain like we thought it would. Now the heater element Internal goes in, thermostat. and that's when it gets really cold, although we think we've used it, what, twice? Right. And that was when we were in Colorado. Everything's plugged in. We got the unit set to 66. Listen, you hear me clicking. Everything's clicking. <laughs> Is it Arctic zone? <laughs> it's cold. Yay. Oh yeah. Woo, Here. <laughs> right down yeah. the back. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Did I pronounce that fixed. Woohoo! Yay! I'm so excited. Me too. Me too. Awesome. Putting on the finishing touches. The little filters back in. The little cover back on. And voila, we have AC. Oh man, <laughs> let's do this. To put it on auto. Tuck it away and listen for the goodness. Three, two, one. Give me Arctic. <laughs> 